Governor, you've had a chance to sleep on it. How do you think last night went? Well, I think it was, uh, we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish, which is tell the Washington story, which is a state that has embraced diversity, it's embraced education, it's embraced progressive values. I think we were able to deliver that in uh, not a, a long period of time, but in a very efficient uh, manner. So I think it was a good night. Were you happy with the format? I mean, 538 even pointed out you had the fewest number of words of any candidate. Well, I, I'm very efficient. I got the biggest punch per word. How's that sound? <laughs> no, I mean, it could have been a little more equitable, but the ball takes bounces, and maybe it'll bounce my way next time. Do you feel your climate message is catching on? Yes, the Everglades, this is a very wet environment. We're on fire. Um, the Midwest has been flooded. Miami Beach has spent $500 million on infrastructure trying to build up the roads because of the flooding. Are, are you more aggressive, say, in July in that debate versus what happened last well, night? Well, I think the moderators, we need to understand the rules. The moderators need to enforce the rules a little bit. You go to Iowa next. Uh, obviously, you know back home in Washington State there, there has been some criticism about how much you're on the road right now and not in, in Olympia. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you answer that? How do you answer the, the questions about the state patrol security that you've been getting uh, on taxpayer dime? Well, look, uh, the proof is in the pudding. We've had a very successful several months in our state. I stay in touch on an hourly basis. Yesterday I had a conversation about the viaduct, day before about an issue uh, at DOC. So this is an hourly thing with me. We have cell phones and they work really effectively. The issue is state patrol, we're following the law. I've said we're going to follow the law, and I think that's a good thing to do. The biggest geopolitical threat, the, the, the question that came up, a few of the other candidates said climate change. You did not. You said President Trump. Well, I believe that's the right answer, and so did the crowd. I think that was the biggest applause line of the night. So the last question is, what's your barometer of success here over the next few months? What's your, what's your goal? My goal is to uh, replace Donald Trump with a leader who is in touch with the can-do attitude of America. Yeah, even through all the positivity there from Washington Governor Jay Inslee, you heard just a little bit of frustration in some of his comments here today in Miami. He's off to Iowa for another appearance tomorrow. He's hoping to make the debate stage in Detroit at the end of July and have another crack at delivering his message.